tap into the power of uh, computational biology and connectivity to get thousands of people looking at a problem without requiring too many resources on to have to be any one of them. That is an amazing place to have a prize. Um, now there are other portions where the prize model be, might be helpful in the drug development process. You know, there's uh, downstream, there's you know, in silico, but in vitro, in vivo, you've got medicinal chemistry, all these types of things. Those can also work, but I think you might not be able to get the tens of thousands of participants that you put in the in the purely online space. Now the question then is, where is the need? Maybe the need is further downstream, and you know that. There's not so much that useful that could be generated from the purely online. You know, that, these are questions to work out. Uh, but from a purely prize point of view, if you have every, a data set that's online with thousands of people pouring over it, that's a really powerful way to the prize can really publicize that question and get lots of people working on it. Then the next step, what we did was I'll start from the beginning if that's okay. So, so the next step was to. For us, from, mostly from our side, to look a little bit to see if there is, in fact, some objective target that's possible here. Not what the target is, but is a target possible? Because in some areas it's inherently subjective, or there maybe is no target that would really lead to a transformative result. And so the initial analysis, you know, just with help from you guys and from others, it seems it, it, there seems to be some scope. You know, you could have a prediction algorithm, you could have some kind of in vitro threat tests that are objectively measurable. So it, it seems so far that it, it was not ruled out. It seems possible. So 